Let's look at the second part of this exam style question. I'm going to focus on part B. Now the question says, xylem and phloem are cells that are specialised. Xylem transport water and phloem transport sugars. Part B says, suggest why xylem cells do not have end walls. Let's look at the command word here. And I can see straight away that the command word for B is the word suggest. And that means you're expected to apply your knowledge and understanding to a new situation. So you might not have learnt specifically why xylem cells don't have end walls, but you're expected to apply your understanding of specialised cells and think why not having end walls might help the cell do its job. Other key information in this question is the term end walls, which refers to a specialised structure found in the phloem but not in the xylem. Let's remind ourselves about xylem cells in terms of what they look like and what they do. You might have learned a bit about these when learning about cell specialisation <clears throat> and also when you learned about transpiration and translocation in plants. Xylem cells form xylem vessels in plants. A xylem cell's job is to transport water and minerals from the roots up the plant stem and into the leaves. Now let's have a quick look at diagram just to remind ourselves of the structure of the xylem cells. So you should be able to see here okay, an image which shows xylem on the left hand side here and then we've got phloem over here. And you can see the xylem cells here are arranged end to end, unlike the phloem, they have no end wall. So this would be a, a xylem cell here, there's another one there, but they don't have any end walls like the phloem cells have here and here. Okay, and instead the cells are forming a hollow tube. The question is asking us to think of a reason why not having end walls and instead having cells that form a hollow tube might help the plant carry out its job, which is to transport water. Having cells that form a hollow tube allow water to flow much more easily than having cells that do have end walls, like phloem. And that's the answer to the question. You might not have learnt that, but actually when you think about the job of the xylem cells and their structure in terms of not having end walls, it makes perfect sense. So let's just write out our answer. So I'm going to write having no end walls allows water to pass through more easily. And that would gain one mark.